Hi there, this is Invasion. Today I'm going to show you a very, very essential tip. Actually, I'm going to show you two ways to remove edge fringe in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and as you know already, if you want to go ahead and download this photo, check the link in the description below. Alright, I moved the mic which I shouldn't have. So the first way of removing edge fringe is first of all, we need to make a selection out of it. So let's go ahead and make a selection. Either you use the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool, whatever you use, you will always wind up with something called fringes. As ugly as it sounds, it is ugly. Alright, I already do have a selection so you don't have to go through the monotonous process. So I'll just bring up the selection and there you go. Now you cannot see any fringes, right? But as soon as you make a mask out of it, let's go ahead and click on the mask button right over there. And if you just go ahead and click on it, this creates a mask. Still, you cannot see the fringe over there. But if you put a black background or a white background, you might see it. All right, let's go ahead and create a solid color adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. Now, let's choose something like black so that you can see the fringes. Hit OK. And let's bring it down just like that and there you go now if we zoom in quite a bit have a look at the edge there is this ugly fringe which we need to get rid of so how do we get rid of this so the first way is using something which you might not have used before and that is using the smudge tool you heard it right that's using the smudge tool all right so first of all make sure you select the mask okay mask is selected not the image just the mask then select the smudge tool right over there. If you cannot see it, right click and make sure smudge tool is selected. Once you select the smudge tool, make the brush size big enough. Okay, make it big enough. And all you have to do, just push it in. Now, before we do anything, I need you to clear the concept of mask. Now, what is the concept of mask? White are the areas which show up, black are the areas which do not show up. If you look at the mask by holding the Alt or Option, click on the mask. As you can see, the statues are painted white, which means the statue shows up and the background is black. So the background doesn't show up. All right. Hold the Alt or Option, then click on the mask again. All right. The image appears again. So the white thing that you right now saw, that was actually the selection. Let's zoom in quite a bit. Select the smudge tool. Okay. All right. This one. Make the brush big enough make it soft enough. How do we do that? By holding the Alt or Option, the right mouse button, drag it to the right to make it bigger, drag it to the left to make it smaller, drag it up to make it soft, drag it down to make it hard. So make it soft, make it big, and then simply just push it in, nudge it in very, very slowly. Make sure the strength is 50%, that's fine. Very slowly just nudge it, and as you can see, kaboom, you have taken care of it very, very easily. So depending upon the size of the thing that you want to take in, just control the size of the brush. So just like that. As you can see here, there's a little bit left. So you can decrease the size of the brush. Similarly with the birds, you can decrease the size of the brush to this size and then take it in slowly. Now there's one more way which is which gives you much more sharper edge. I'm going to show you that as well. All right. Now, one of the biggest cons with this method is that if you take this in, all right, this is looking great, but it gives you soft edges. Now you might think, uh, Unmesh, why don't you just contract it and remove the fringe from all over the image all at once? Now here's the problem with that. There are some places where the selection is all right. If you select quickly, there will be some places where there is no fringe and there will be places where there is fringe. As you can see in this example, in this area, there is no fringe. In this area, there is no fringe. And uh, similarly, as you can see, if I take it down, on the right hand side, there is no fringe. On the left hand side, there is fringe. So if you try to take away the fringe all at once, you might end up erasing these details. So you don't want that. Okay. You just want to affect the areas which have the fringe. All right. So one of the biggest drawbacks of this method is that it gives you soft edges. If you try to do it right over here, it takes away the fringe. Yes, it does, but it gives you very soft edges. edges. So how do we tackle that? Very easy way to tackle that. Let me show you how to tackle that. Okay. All you have to do, just make sure the mask is selected. Okay. Make sure the mask is selected and then go to image adjustments and then brightness contrast. Yes. Brightness contrast. Make sure you check use legacy and then go ahead and increase the contrast slowly. And when, when you do that, have a look, have a look at the edge. 
they become sharp again. If you want to see what happens exactly, let's go ahead and hit cancel. And let me just show the mask again by holding the alt or option, clicking on the mask. And then if I go to image adjustments and contrast, brightness contrast, what exactly happens is the white becomes whiter, the black becomes blacker. Does that make sense? No. Let me show you something. It will make sense. It will make more sense. This is completely white. This cannot get any whiter. This is completely black. This cannot get any blacker. But this is gray. This can get brighter. This is darker gray. This can get darker, right? So when you increase the contrast, what happens is, see, the brighter gray becomes white and the darker gray becomes black and therefore the edges become thinner. Make sure use legacy is checked and then you do it. Have a look. This thing happens, all right? So hit OK once you're satisfied with the edge. For example, I'm satisfied with this one. I'll hit OK. Alt or Option, hold that down and click on this. And there you pretty much go. Hard edge. So that was method number one. Let me show you method number two and that is really cool as well. All righty. So all you have to do, hold the control or command, bring the selection back by clicking on the mask. All right. Now this brings the selection back. Now what you can do, you can contract the selection, which means that you can take the selection inside that will bar the mask from being selected. Does that make any sense? No, let me show you something. All right, all you have to do, go to select, modify, and then contract. This will contract the selection by one pixel, two pixel, whatever value you choose. Let's start with one, okay? Let's start with one for this image, depends upon the resolution, hit okay. Now, just as we hit okay, as you can see, the selection went a little inside. If that's not enough, if that's not excluding the fringes, you might have to again go to select, modify, and then contract, okay? Again, but this time, as you can see, most of the fringe is covered, so we won't go any further. We will hit cancel over there, and we are pretty much good to go. So, all you have to do now, invert the selection because we want to erase it, right? We want to erase the fringes. Right now, the statue is selected, so we want to invert the selection. How do we invert the selection? By pressing Control shift i Command shift i if you're using Mac, or simply go to Select and then Inverse. There you go. shift Control i the same thing. All right. So, once you hit Inverse, simply take the brush, okay? Make sure that the foreground color is black and paint outside and that removes the fringe, very easy. Now, if you want the marching ants to get out of the way, if that's disturbing you, you can hide that by pressing Control or Command H. H for hat, okay. That's still there, it's just hiding, okay? Simply, but as you can see, there there's still fringe left over there. There's still fringe left. So, remove the areas and the areas which have extra fringe, for example, these areas, are already taken care of, they look nice. But there will be some areas with extra fringe, for example, this particular area. For those areas, you might have to apply that again, okay? So, hold the control or command, click on and over there, and then simply go to select, whoops, modify, and then contract. And one pixel is fine, hit okay once you're satisfied, and then simply control shift i, command shift i if you're using a Mac, and then take the brush, simply, and then just paint with black. Whoops, we have not inverted the selection. If that happens, let's go back, Control alt z Control shift i invert the selection, and then paint in black, just like that. Make sure the mask is selected, not the image, the mask, okay. And that's how you remove the fringe. And in your quest, okay, in your quest to remove the fringes, if you find jagged edges, you need to soften it. How do we soften the jagged edges? Very simple. Just enter select and mask, okay? You can enter select and mask by making sure the mask is selected. And inside of the properties panel, there will be select and mask. If you don't see it, you can go to windows and then properties, and then you will see select and mask. Or what you can do, you can use choose any selection tool and select and mask will show up over there. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, you might not see it. I'm already warning you, you might have to use the refine edge, but anything beyond Photoshop CC 2015.5, you will see the select and mask. Just click on the select and mask and simply increase the smooth. 
do somewhere around probably even a value of four will do. Four is too much, I guess. I'll go with three, as you can see the difference. Have a look at the difference. So this was before the jagged edges. If I go even one, that makes a ton of difference too. That's pretty much fine for me. Hit OK once you're satisfied. All right, there you go, smooth edge. Also what you can do, if you're confident enough, if all of the areas of your image have the fringe, you can remove all of the fringe in one sweep. Here's how you can do it. All right, let's go ahead and delete the mask. We're gonna create the mask again. Let's delete the mask. I have already the selection inside of the channels. All right, let's create the mask again. Now, simply what you can do, you can hold the control or command, click on in over there, and you could have done that directly as well, but let me show you if you have already created the mask. Select, modify, contract. And you can choose a value of two, one, whatever you like. Let's choose one first, okay? Let's choose one first, and then for manual editing, we can choose uh, one again. All right, let's hit okay. And then, Control Shift I, invert it, and fill it up with black. Remember the concept of mask. What is the concept of mask? Black are the areas which do not show up, white are the areas which show up. So make sure the mask is selected and fill this area with black. If we zoom in, let me show you the difference. So how to fill it with black? Alt backspace, option delete if you're using a Mac. Alt backspace, everything gone in just one sweep. But still, there will be areas which have the fringe. For those areas, you might have to again contract it and again remove those and you know the whole process so there you go two ways to remove edge fringe in photoshop let's do a quick little recap so the first way was removing edge fringe using the smudge tool so how do we do that after you have created the mask all you have to do zoom in quite a bit select the smudge tool over there simply if you cannot see it right click select the smudge tool and make sure the mask is selected and then simply what you have to do just push it in make sure the brush is big enough soft enough, strength is enough, and then simply push it in just like that. And there you go, that's how you can remove that. And be careful, decrease or increase the size of the brush according to the area that you're painting in. Right now, we did some mistake. Let's go back, Control or Command Z. All right, so for example, for this area, we'll decrease the size, push it in like that. For this area, we'll increase the size, and then push it in just like that. Okay, so that's one of the ways. The second way is using contract. So how do we use contract? Let's go back. To use the contract, all you have to do, hold the control or command, bring up the selection again by clicking on the mask, and then go to select, modify, and then contract. Choose the value accordingly and hit okay. And then all you have to do, press control shift I, command shift I, invert it, and then take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white, and then paint to remove the fringes. If you really wanna see what's happening, you can always go ahead and press Control or Command H to hide the marching ants and remove them. You can also remove them in one sweep by filling it with black. Let's bring the marching ants back by holding the Control or Command and then H. Alt Backspace, make sure the foreground color is black. Make sure it is black, make sure the mask is selected, and then press Alt Backspace. Option Delete if you're using a Mac, and let's see the magic. Done. Removed in one sweep. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give us a like, and also don't forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned, and make sure that you keep creating.